Hi everyone, and welcome to the Financial Success Stories series. I've been writing and posting some of these uh, up until this point, and I thought I would do a video for this story because uh, the whiteboard kind of helps with the illustration. So this client, uh, I'm calling her A, and, uh, and, and she is currently 54 years old, and she hadn't been a, a client of mine originally. I hadn't done any of the financial planning for her. Uh, this had been done when she and her ex-husband were still together and living in Alberta. And life being the way that it is, uh, they ended up becoming uh, separated and divorced, and she moved here, and uh, they had a fairly decent relationship so that uh, she was able to have the kids and send them back and forth. Um, and then uh, she came to me a number of years ago uh, because she needed a, a local advisor, and I hadn't really done anything because she was well taken care of. We made a few uh, tweaks here and there. Um, but this, the, what's important about this story was uh, the value that a disability plan that she had had put in place by her original advisor and the way that it worked out. So uh, she's a, an employee with the federal government and uh, they have a great package. And she started in a clerical position and managed to uh, make her way up over the years. But the original advisor had encouraged her to take out a, a personal disability insurance plan for a fairly small amount, but with the ability to increase the benefit over the years uh, as, her, as her wages increased. So, um, and, and that's important in this story uh, in a few minutes. A lot of people who have a really good group benefits plan tend not to look at getting their own disability insurance uh, generally because people they don't think about the catastrophic they think they sort of uh, focus on you know I know I've got enough coverage with work and I'll be fine so uh, what happened with with the a is that she was in a car accident got t-boned uh, with the other driver was at fault and uh, of course it takes a long time for ICBC to uh, to settle on on, uh, on the uh, on the payout, and and many of you watching will will have experienced that. So it's almost three years uh, before she ended up getting uh, that settlement. Uh, it was not one that left her in hospital for that long, um, but it did end up. Uh, she had fairly significant uh, back pain that would come and go. So she had a really difficult time being able to stay at work. Even, uh, even um, office jobs have a lot of moving around. And if you are having a hard time getting out of bed because of, of back pain, uh, you know, it can be fairly debilitating. And in Ace's case, that was, uh, even to the point of, uh, of depression. And it's not uncommon for a physical ailment to turn into a, uh, a mental uh, ailment. So. Uh, not only was she dealing with chronic pain, but the depression that went along with that because her lifestyle had been significantly impacted. So she was able to use her disability through work, which, which was great. But what was interesting was that the disability, uh, the, the blue box here shows her, uh, her group plan. And she qualified for $2,200 after tax um, or tax free. Uh, under the plan for a period of two years in what was called own occupation, which was really good. Um, but of course, over the years that she had increased her income, her expense uh, expectations had gone up as well. So that $2,200 really didn't cover uh, what, what she had. So what was great about having her own personal disability plan was that over time, as I described, she had been able to purchase more. So she qualified for a $3,000 a month disability. Because the, the group plan was the first payer, she was really only paying an adjusted premium for the $800 difference between the $2,200 group plan and the $3,000 plan. So she was able to get $3,000 a month tax-free to, to live on for those first two years. Now, uh, you really very often don't go back to work as quickly as, as you think. And in A's case, that, that was the case. And at the end of the two years, she was still with a combination of back pain, which had diminished, but the depression was still there. 
And what happened with the group plan at the end of two years was the own occupation. So if you're unable to perform the functions of your own occupation, you're covered. But at the end of that, that ended and it became any occupation. And the definition around that is if you can do any occupation, uh, if you can operate, uh, if you can sit, you should be able to get a, a job in a, uh, in a parking garage um, or you know, any other, even menial tasks. You're expected to, to take that and you end up off your disability. So unless you are totally disabled, uh, most people are not able to continue their disability through their group plan because they no longer qualify under that own occupation designation. But what the advisor, so I hope that's clear. If anyone has a question about the difference between any occupation and own occupation, please message me uh, after the video and we can talk about that. But the advisor had given her a plan that, that extended her own occupation past this two years all the way to age 65. So when the, the group benefit plan dropped off, this one continued all the way to age 65 when her old age security would come on. Now, if, if A at any point here is able to return to work, she can do so, uh, but, and you know, the way things are right now, I know that the depression is one that not, does not go away overnight. Uh, she continues to be covered under this $3,000 a month uh, benefit, even though her group benefit plan expired uh, two years ago. You know, my expectation is that, that she will recover and hopefully find some way for gainful employment. But if she can't, she's covered by this plan all the way to age 65. So there is a great example of a financial success because uh, she had a good advisor who recommended some, some really good risk management tools at a time when she didn't need it, didn't think she would ever benefit from it, and already had pretty good coverage. So uh, hopefully this is uh, enlightening to some of you who have been thinking about why would I get my own personal disability plan when I've already got a, a good group benefit plan. Um, because statistically, if you are still off work after 18 months, you're probably going to be off work for three years or more. And in, in uh, A's case, if she had only had a group benefit plan, she would have been off disability and looking for work at a time when she probably needed to focus on recovery more. So I hope you've been enjoying the financial success stories and uh, looking forward to giving you another one uh, tomorrow.